out the hidden citrus grove. You can see, uh, of the 30, 40 trees I planted back here in the springtime, there's a couple fruits on there. We're just going to go and check out some of them. This one's a variegated Mineola tangelo. What are these are? So like the variegated lemons, this one's got like yellow fruits with red stripes on it. Variegated tangelo. Meyer lemon. Nice and bushy. Shiranu Mandarin. Shiranu Mandarin. Everything, everything in here is fantastic. New growth. Nice. New growth. I mean, look at the leaf litter in here. And it's, uh, everybody in here is real happy. We got a couple more here. There's another Tangelo. This one's, uh, 639? Yep. That's 639 right there. That's a, a hybrid. It's a Citrandrin. From South Africa. And then I've got a Orlando Candelo. Nice. I mean, they're happy in here. They're happy in here. I think there's some food on a lot of growth. Another 639. Uh, South, South African Citrandrin. They're, they get, they're real tall and leggy. Sudachi. A little bit of yellowing and stuff, but not bad. Okay, this one's a Kukushu, Kukushu Mandarin Quat. This is my Nippon, Nippon Mandarin Quat. Here, step back a little bit and see what's going next to it. This is just a little branch. It's pushed out. This one's happy. This is a real happy one right here. And then this one's another Sudachi. There's a little new growth on here too. But for the first year, I mean they're growing tall, they're growing to rock. Now this one's my my son's China one. But the China one's hanging in there, but it's getting overrun by rootstock. So I, I almost have to trim off some of the rootstock. See the three leaves. Gosh, I hate to do it, it looks so good. Most of the new growth that we've got. Yeah, even this too. I'm gonna leave that. I'll leave that. And then that's all China one in here. Tatsuma. Another two dots. Real tall. It's. I mean, 
they're definitely growing, they're getting water, they're we're happy, there's a lot of nutrients in this forest brown brown little. So this here is rootstock that's growing back from from this Thomasville right here. But I, I like the leaves. I'm pretty sure that's some type of citrandarin or something. So I'm leaving that. I'm leaving that. So we got citrandarin and Thomasville. And a grape that needs to go. The chain shot. Chain shot over. Oh, and that's a blueberry I'm stepping on. This is a wild blueberry. <laughs> I don't want to step on that too much. But chain shot mandarin. Let's cross over here and look at some of these. So this one's an Orlando Tangelo also. And you can see the little fruits on here. Look at that. Little Tangelos. Looks good. And I think there's another one back here too. I'm gonna cut one of these. I'm gonna cut one of these. Oh, there's. Oh, here we go. Here we go. This guy looks like he's ready to be. Little teeny guy. Let's see where we go. Ooh. Oh my gosh. It smells like a tangelo bear. Looks yummy. Oh yeah, we're eating this fish. so juicy. Oh, I cut through some seeds too, darn it. Man, I really would have liked to get this. You don't want none of that. Which I won't cut through anymore. Ah, I cut through some more seeds. Thank you. Was this one that I had tied up on here? What did I get? I got it from right here. I know I hand pollinated these with a few different things. But... Hmm? Wow. I'd like to get some of these seeds over here that I didn't mess up. I got one. That's a good one? Awesome. Here you go. You can. You can have this one here too. Man, that's good. Mm. That tastes amazing. Not bad for a little unripe tangelo. Alright, there's a couple seeds in there. Let me get it in the sun. You in my sun. That is a good taste and and that's not that's the little one. There's just the big ones over here. So this one's a chain shot, also two. Real long and leggy. Now this one, this one's a special one. This one's the Nippon, Nippon Mandarin Quad. I've never tasted one of these before. Look how orange it's getting back here. We're gonna eat this. I don't know if I should eat it now or eat it later. I don't know. A Nippon Mandarin Quan. Look at the red color right there. So it's a Mandarin cross with a Kumquat. 
I really want the seeds in here, so I don't want to mess up, mess it up. Let me, uh, I bet you it's going to be really dark on the inside right here. You can eat the skin on this. Oh, it smells amazing. Oh my gosh. Look at that. Dark, almost, almost orangish red. Dripping. Ooh, it smells good. I think I'm just gonna peel it. Since the skin's real soft, you know? I want the skin. The mosquitoes are getting the best out of me right now. You want the skin? Yeah. You can eat the skin. Look at that. It smells like a mandarin, but a little bit more sour, like a mandarin and an orange. I'm gonna try the skin. It's really juicy, well. Wow. It's not as bitter as a normal orange skin, but kind of sweeter. I'm gonna try this. Mm. It's like a really sour mandarin. You're gonna like this one. You're really gonna like this one. It looks like a mandarin. Oh yeah. A Nippon mandarin pot. I'm sure there's a better way to be eating this, but we're out in the woods right now, getting eaten by mosquitoes. I'm gonna let, I'm gonna hand this to you. And I'm gonna let you. Hmm. I'm gonna let you just try that whole thing. And get any seeds, keep them. Mm. Isn't that good? Mm -hmm. Don't mix them up with the other ones though. Okay. They're bigger, aren't they? They're huge. Hmm. Isn't that good? That is very good. Yeah, there's still seeds in there, huh? Oh, it's amazing. Picture a whole tree full of them. You like the tangelo better? Mm hmm. I don't know, there's something about this one. I like the sour one. Did you want to hold on to this? You got this and this? How am I going to film you? I'm going to get rid of that. Okay. Can I eat more? Yeah. Really yeah, no, no, no. Whatever, uh, whatever you think. I'm going to grab some of the citrandrins too. Mm. This baby is awesome. A tangelo. <laughs> Almost, I think we're going to grab one of these. Oh, wait, there's more. There's more than I thought. There's, there's about four of them. So there's another fruit here, and another one here, a big one here. Oh man, I just don't know if I'll be back by the time that they're ripe. I say we should pick them. Pick all of them? Well, you know what? It wouldn't hurt. It would only make the tree do better because it's a new, newly planted tree. So yeah, let's do that. Let's pick them all. And we'll eat them early. We'll eat them green. Green and orange. Big ones back here. Oh yeah. 
These are gonna be tasty little little suckers. That last one, that that one that, that we picked was really good. Right. You see any more? Mm -mm. Not it, huh? So this one right here is a Karaji Mandarin. Karaji. It's called the Lemon Mandarin, the Lemonade Mandarin. And um, it hasn't done much for me, but it's still alive. hasn't grown very much. And uh, this is one of the ones that it's only put on a little bit of new growth. It didn't really bush out like the other ones did, like the Sudachis and the Thomasvilles and all that. Um, I think we missed a couple things, but that's all right. There's three or four over there. Now this is a really nice uh, 639, the South African Citrandarin, real healthy. It was just that little stick down there and it turned into that within the last six months. And here's a real special one. This is a Citramon I got from Stan McKenzie. Citramon and it's grafted off one of his trees in his front yard. And uh, this is a lemon crossed with a trifoliate. And it's got some of the biggest and prettiest leaves out of all the trifoliate hybrids. And it's deciduous, so yeah, it loses its leaves and they turn yellow. And I don't know if it's just getting ready to lose its leaves or if it's a nutrient deficiency, but it's that time of year and there's a lot of organic matter in here. So I'm assuming that it's just, it's starting to go dormant. It's starting to get ready for a cool down. Um, normal lemons don't do that the trifoliate to do and you can see the yellowing right here uh, because it's getting ready to go uh, leaves are falling off but what a beautiful tree to have in your front yard you know you get fall color you get delicious little sour little lemons and the lemons on these are like pumpkin shaped they have little ribs like a pumpkin yeah yeah yeah, yeah. so these that are cool. these are nice I'm gonna be picking some of those and then I got a Meyer lemon here, and really nice big healthy Meyer lemon over here. This guy, I mean, in the shade, it's, it's turned into a tree. It was a bush, or a little, little stick, and it's a, that's a nice, nice big tall Meyer lemon. Now this right here is the Citrandarin. And I think it's USA 52, if I'm not mistaken. USA 5-2. Yep, USA 5-2. And these guys were fuzzy. But I really need to pick these. Pick these. They're, they're still too early. But man, I've got a lot of rootstock growing back that needs to be cut. All this is rootstock. Uh, all of the new growth is basically rootstock. Haven't been here in a while, but keep up with all of it. Oh, that fell off. <laughs> Citrandarin, US 852 from Stan McKenzie. He's got a big tree out in his front yard. The leaves on these are... are are really dark and you can see that the the middle one is bigger than this than the, the side ones the lateral ones so that's a, a mandarin crossed with a trifoliate uh, created by the uh, USDA we, we got to get that guy there too now but look how they grow upright like this one was growing on these these were hanging these were hanging and this one's pointing up like this one so yeah let's get these guys off that'll help the tree out a little bit you always want to cut citrus if you can because you can rip them and then they start to start to go bad really quick you rip the skin out of them all right let's make this So this one right here is a Changsha, really nice little Changsha. 
There's a Meyer lemon right here hiding in these bushes. I think it's like a uh, cherry laurel or something like that. But there's a Meyer lemon in here. Nice little Meyer. Look at that new branch. That's going to be the new tree, I think, right there. And then I want to say this one's a tangerine. Oh no, that's an Owari. Owari Satsuma Mandarin. And everything in here is doing really, really, really good. The stuff out in the field, it's a little bit yellowing. It's not as, there's not as much new growth. They're hanging in there, they're still alive, but they don't look as, as nice as this. Um, this one's gotta be my pond can, I wanna say. It's gotta be a pond can. I put a pond can over here, that's it. Nice little mandarin tree, tangerine, excuse me. And then you can see a couple more in here. There's a nice clearing in here. Sycamore trees, really, really big sweet gums and maples. There's some big oaks over here. Not a lot of pines. Uh, but old growth trees where it's, it's already open underneath. And uh, I ended up mowing in here and, and clearing this all out. But it was all like this. It was all vines that was just, there was nothing in here. I, it must have been previously cleared out. There's elderberries that I went around uh, there's some wild blueberries that I went around so most of it was just grapevines and some small 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 stuff it wasn't any big trees I could actually take a mower and mow it you know so there wasn't a lot of stuff the good thing it was a rental <laughs> and that one is a frost owari so that's a chain sat that's a uh, Changsha cross with a Satsuma Mandarin. Pretty sure it's a Changsha. Oh, watch this one. Smith Red Blood Orange. That's good. Oh, yeah, that's a, that's like a Black Widow. Smith's Red Blood Orange right here. That's a, it's a Red Valencia. Is it a Valencia? Yeah, it's a red, I think it's a red Valencia. It's a blood Valencia. A pond can. Pond can tangerine. Nice new growth right up in here. This is going to be tall. I like how they grow in the forest because they're taller and they're reaching for the sunlight a little bit more. They're not really getting all bushy and I think it's going to be a healthier tree. They'll be healthier being taller like that. Now, I need to go in there and, and eventually I need to trim the tops so they start to bush out. Otherwise, they'll just keep growing long and leggy. I think this is another Owari, maybe. Yeah, that's an Owari Satsuma. These will just turn into long, leggy branches. you got to make these bush out. you got to trim these. It's a little too early to be trimming them, though. Trim that vine out Here's another variegated Sandello. Variegated uh, mineola. That was a spider whip. Variegated mineola sandella. This one looks really nice. Look how pretty these leaves are. What a nice ornamental tree to have in, in your in your front yard. Looks like the stuff you see at Hobby Lobby. Oh, it feels like it. it feels fake. You know? It looks doesn't it look fake? Yes. It looks like the fake stuff. But one of the craziest looking fruits comes off of these. Tangellos are my favorite. These are yellow fruited, they have yellow skin with red stripes, like tie-dyed, it's crazy. And uh, I got two of these, I had to have these. And I, I keep this, this is my, this is the sweet spot in here we call it. We call it the sweet spot, it's the more sweeter stuff, less, less cold hardy, it's more protected. Um, but that right there, that's cold hardy into the teens. I'm hoping that the forest and everything will help with that. Keep it a little bit more warm, like a little warm blanket with all these little leaves in here and nice cover of the trees up above it will stop the frost from from getting it these give them a little bit more uh, more protection than sitting out in the woods or uh, a little bit more protection than sitting out in the field so if you can see it from here though we've walked through the whole the whole thing if you want to look over here we've walked through the whole thing all the way to this far end and this is the hidden citrus grove and then this is the little sweet spot that i added right at the last minute with a couple really nice things so, we got some goodies. We got three Tangellos and two US 852 Citrandrons.
And we already ate some too. We already ate some. We 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 ate that meat pond. That Mandarin quad had to go. <laughs> So this is the Tough Citrus Grove. I gave you guys a tour of the ones up front. Uh, the video I did back here in the back grove um, I counted every tree. I went through every one. I think I skipped a couple. I just went to a few of these, but we have rows of citrus on both sides and they're doing fantastic in here. Um, I watered them by hand with five gallon jugs for the first three or four months of the, uh, of the season in the spring once I put them in the ground. And then uh, after come midsummer, I just kind of let everything go, let it do its thing, let the roots look for water on their own. I knew they were past that little sensitive spot. Now. The ones up front, the soil's not as good. It's real hard. It's more clay. And uh, they're not doing as good. Why do I keep dropping these? They're not doing as good as here, but they're still doing good. They're hanging in there. And I gave those guys the most attention out there. But that's mainly Thomas Phil's. There's a, in a few hybrids. Um, um, uh, Carolina Lime. And then there's a couple of the Chimeras, the uh, Leningrad Chimeras. Anyways, you guys saw that in the last video. But this is it. This is the citrus grove. The hidden citrus grove in North Carolina. And as far as I know, it's probably going to be one of the first and only citrus groves in North Carolina. If you guys know of any other citrus groves where they have more than just a couple trees, uh, we've got nine, just under 90, 89 trees here. So I would say that's a citrus grove, but they're all babies. Got, got room to grow. And there's always more room to plant some more trees out here. So... Smiling. <laughs> There's always more trees to plant. But thanks for watching, guys. I'm going to show you what these citrandarins here look like in just a little bit. We're going to cut these open, keep the seeds from them. We are planting freedom, 90 trees at a time. Yeah. I'm so poor. Yeah, that looks good. Gosh, that looks good. The Sudachi right there. That's, good. That's a nice tree right there. Yeah. It wasn't a tree, it was just a little branch. It's put on so much... It's put on so much growth the first year that I know within the next two years that this is going to be a really big healthy tree. And the Sudachi is a Japanese hybrid of um, a Yuzu and a Mandarin, I think. Yuzu, or, yuzu and a Tangerine, one of them. Yuzu and Tangerine, Yuzu Mandarin. So they're sweeter, they're smaller, and they've got oranger, more orange flesh than a, than a Yuzu. They make lots of drinks out of them. We tried it. Yeah, I'm glad. I feel a little bit better about it.